What's up guys, it's Thebro123 here with another episode of Useful Mods and today we're going to be taking a look at the Instant Structures mod. Now this mod it's very 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 good. Uh, pretty much what it is is you have a little block and you put it in the ground, you click it and it makes an instant structure. So let's get started out with this mod. I hope you guys do enjoy and please remember to subscribe for more. Alright guys, so first I'm going to go through the crafting recipes and then I'll show you what the ac how to use the actual blocks and how they actually look when they're expanded. So the first block here that you create is called the villa. Now what you use is you use four wooden planks, two pieces of wood, one iron block in the middle, some seeds, and a bed. And you craft that and it makes a block that looks like this. It's called the instant house version 3 or the villa. And um... <laughs> to be honest, it's really, really awesome looking house. I mean, you, you guys will see. I'll show you. It's pretty good looking. I mean, it's really cheap to make, but it's a great way to get started. It'll make Minecraft a lot easier to get started. So uh, let's move on to the next recipe. All right, so here's the next crafting recipe. This one's called the Nether House. And pretty much what this is, is it's like, you know those houses that you always want to make around your nether portal really far away? Well, not really far away, but generally not close to your house because that annoying nether portal sound. So pretty much what this house does is, it's a nice little cool looking nethery looking, <laughs> nethery looking, huh, I'm going to use that word more often, nethery. Anyways, nethery looking house, and it's pretty cool looking, so you guys will see that one. But what it is, is it's four blocks of obsidian, so you do need diamond, just like you would need a uh, diamond for another portal. And it actually does spawn in another portal for you, so it's a lot cheaper than, or a lot less time consuming than having to go and, you know, mining ten pieces of obsidian, then making another portal that doesn't even look that good, you don't have a room. But anyways, you need flint and steel, bucket of lava, two golden ingots, and an iron block right in the middle. And that'll make you your nether house. A little more expensive than the last one, you know, but I mean it looks really cool, so let's move on to the next recipe. Alrighty guys, so here's your next crafting recipe. This is the instant farm. It's just a nice little small, I'd say like uh, 10 block occupancy farm. It gives you a nice little wheat farm. Good way to get started. It uh, even hoes the land for you. So what you're going to need is two fences two seeds, a bucket of water in the middle, three pieces of dirt on the bottom, and a wooden hoe right on top. And that'll make you your instant farm block. So you guys will see this, you can make a bunch of these and you can make a big farm really easily. But uh, it's a pretty nice way to, you know, get started on your first farm instead of having to find a village and stuff. So let's move on to the next recipe. Alright guys, so this next structure is called the instant tower. And this pretty much makes you a really tall tower to defend yourself against mobs and stuff like that. And the good part about this one is it even includes a bow and arrow and I think it's 16 arrows at the very top of the tower. And it gives you a good start to defend yourself from mods or mobs from your house. So uh, the way you make it is you need four pieces of smooth stone in the corners. You need two stone bricks, one iron block in the middle, a redstone dust on the bottom, and a bow on the top and that'll make you this instant tower block so um it's pretty tall i'd say at least 20 blocks tall maybe more so you guys will see that one in a second for now let's go on to the next crafting recipe all right so this next structure is called the instant armory and pretty much what this is it's a lot similar it's a lot uh, can't talk today it's very similar to a blacksmith in the uh NPC villages and uh, what you need to make this is four stone bricks two normal bricks one or not normal bricks um, what are those called I don't even know what those are called yeah bricks I don't know why I was thinking that <laughs> anyways two normal bricks creepy noise uh, creepy noise why you why you scare me creepy noise I'm gonna turn you down creepy noises because you know I don't like weird noises in my let's plays, and my videos, and my mod reviews. <sighs> okay, anyways. And a furnace in the middle, a lava bucket on the top, and a piece of redstone on the bottom. I'm so weird sometimes. <laughs> and that'll make you the instant armory block. 
and we'll see that one in a second. For now, let's go on to the skeleton spawner and the zombie spawner. Alrighty guys, so here we have the instant zombie spawner, and I know you guys are probably thinking, wait a second. Wait a second, Eric, there's a bone in the middle of there, how is that going to be a zombie spawner? I don't know, it's probably just a uh, bug or something in the code. Here you can probably fix it very easily. Uh, so, pretty much, yeah, you just put a bone in the middle of eight iron bars, and it'll give you the instant zombie spawner. I really don't know if it's something wrong with my game or something wrong with the code, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. Bone and zombie flesh, same thing. So, that'll make you the zombie spawner. The, uh, okay, now let's move on to the skeleton spawner. Alrighty, guys, like I said, this is the same exact recipe, except it has rotten flesh instead of a, a bone. And actually, I think it probably is a, a glitch in the uh, coding, because this is bones, and you would expect that to be a skeleton. I don't know, but if it's supposed to be that way, sorry, but, you know, that'll make you the skeleton spawner. So uh, let's move on to the next crafting recipes. There's only a couple more guys, and then you guys can see how all these structures look. So let's move on. All right, so this is the instant castle recipe. What this makes is it makes a huge castle. And when I say huge, I mean like extremely large. There's the spawner, by the way. That's how it looks. But you guys will see the rest of the stuff in a second. So the castle is gigantic. So this is very cheap for, you know, a huge castle. So, the recipe is four stone bricks in the corner, two wooden planks, one iron block in the middle, a piece of redstone, and a glowstone on the top, and that'll give you the uh, instant castle block, which it looks like it's upside down. That looks like it's right side up. I don't know. I just put it in there. So, that'll make you the instant castle block. Alrighty guys, so these next items are all going to be used for the barn block. I think is what it's called. The instant barn block. So, this is the hay block. You just make uh, nine sticks all in like a box, and it'll make you eight pieces of hay. So let's move on to the next thing. Alright, so these next two items are colored wood. It's new two, type, two new types of colored wood. We've got red planks and we've got white planks. So the way you make these is you just put dye underneath, you put red dye for the red planks and bone meal for the uh, white planks and that'll make you these two blocks. So let's move on to the last block you'll need to make the instant barn block. Alrighty, so the last block you'll need to make the instant barn block is the metal sheets. Now this recipe will give you 16 metal sheets and all it is is it's just Four iron ingots put together and it makes you 16 metal sheets so now let me show you how to make the instant barn block so I'll just put this on camera show you guys how I do this oh my gosh seriously <sighs> this is not cool not cool so this is what I do every time to make the recipes by the way what oh, I guess I put it twice Okay, so this is what will make you the instant barn block. One iron block in the middle. Two pieces of red wood on the side. Uh, one piece of hay on the bottom. One piece of white wood at the top. Really? Really? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Uh, okay. One piece of white wood at the top. And we put two metal sheets on the side. And that'll make us... Seriously. <laughs> oh, I didn't cover it up. Sweet. Okay. Let's just make this in a crafting bench. So you guys can see. Uh, put these two on the side. Oh, I'm down two. Darn it. Okay. Get me two more pieces of that. This is getting annoying because I'm not prepared again. Eric! Why are you not prepared? Oh, Eric, Eric, Eric. Okay, boom. Boom. Bam. Bam. And kapow! The instant barn block. And this makes you a nice little barn. It puts some hay at the top. 
Gives you a nice little barn for your animals to roam around in. Really nice looking. Classic barn. So now, the moment you've all been waiting for, you get to go see these blocks in action. So, let's move to a forest biome because this snow biome gets kind of annoying. No space. So let's go to the forest biome. And, uh, we'll have an adventure. We'll have a great time. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so I'm back in this old redstone world I had, I just tested. That's a lot of villagers. <laughs> I never really realized I had that many. So here's the instant house again. Place it, right click, gives you the house. Let's take a look inside. And now let's see if we can look at the basement. Yeah, there we go. Comes pre-built with a farm. Wait a second, does this have water underneath it or something? No, so... Oh, you guys are probably gonna have to hydrate it. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the farm, so you get some free empty chests in here, pretty nice. You got your bedroom, and you've got a nice little balcony, so you can look at the villagers all day long. Hi, villagers, how are you? Oh, the, look, this is really funny. I put, like, a little trap here, a TNT. Oh, I just fell in my trap. <laughs> fell in my own trap, didn't I? Anyways, let's just go... Alright, this is personally my favorite one. This is the nether house. Let me show you guys what this looks like. Alright. Look at this. It gives you a nether portal and everything. Really expensive, but really cool looking, I think. Gives you everything from the nether. It even gives you some free nether brick. You can go in the nether if you want. Oh, I didn't want to go in the nether. <laughs> I guess I could show you the rest of the stuff in here. Ooh. Does it give you a... Oh, it doesn't give you a house over here, though. Well, that's okay, I guess. But I'll just jump back through, because I don't want to be in the nether right now. The nether's scary. Okay. Here's the instant tower. Oh, making my world lag. <laughs> okay. So, you've got yourself a chest down here. If it would open, okay, nothing in there. And we'll just go to the top. I'll see you at the top. Actually, I'll just leave it in there, okay. We go to the top. And as I said, comes with a chest and free hours and a boo. I don't know why my little menu is so small. I just started up the world and it did that. All right, so here's the instant armory. Oops. Okay, and whoops. You gotta make sure you put it in the ground. And sometimes you will spawn inside of it. It's kind of weird. But this one gives you a free iron sword. And if we look inside, it looks a lot like the blacksmith shop. You pretty much can smelt everything you want in here. Store all your weapons in there. Pretty cool looking armory, I'd say. You get a free chimney. That looks really, really cool. What's this? Oh, can I go in here? Oh, gosh, okay. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have come in here. <laughs> no! Okay, why am I not flying? Okay, there we go. Alright, this is the zombie spawner. I was trying to make a hyper spawner from Ethos Lab, but it didn't work for me. I don't know why. Bam, this is apparently the zombie spawner. But let's take a look inside and see if it spawns zombies. Oh, I probably gotta put this on. Oh, it does spawn zombies. Okay, so... Wait. What? <laughs> uh... Oh, wait. Zombie spawner. Skeleton spawner. Wait a second, so how come when I... I don't know. Okay, let's... Let's see if it spawns some zombies for us. Put that bad boy on hard. Alright, zombies. Oh, yeah, it does spawn. Okay, cool. So you can kill all the zombies you want in there. Get a little nice XP farm going in there. Okay. And let's show you the skeleton spawner. Bam. Oh, I forgot to tell you, don't put them too close to each other. Because they do run into each other. And the one that you just built will take over the other one. So this one is the skeleton spawner, and as you can see, 
It spawns skeletons. It's very light in here. Uh, I'll just leave you alone. Oh, he's following me. <laughs> Alright, the next one is the instant farm. That's what this looks like. It's got yourself a nice small little farm. I guess you can make yourself a bunch of little farms. Bam. Connects them together. Oh, wow, I judged that really perfectly. Oh, I am on a roll. I am on a roll. Look at how boss I am. Three instant farms. Oh, but they're not. <laughs> Whatever. That's cool, too, but yeah, you get a free little farm. It even seeds it up for you. So, um, let's show you. I'll leave that one for last, because that one's huge. All right, let's show you the barn. Okay. Oh, it ran into the farm. Let's put it over here so it doesn't run into the farm. I guess the way that it's pointing is the way that it'll... Whoa. Oh, gosh. I'm stuck in the barn. I am stuck in the barn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> eh, whatever. I'll just leave that. Okay. And, oh, you get a free farm. I guess. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that's really cool. You get a free farm. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. I don't know why they put gravel there. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it sounds like you're walking on seeds. That's cool. Alright, and you get an anvil. I think you get hay in here. No, you get wheat. And you get an iron hoe. That's good for your other farms, see? And as I said, up here, you've got yourself some hay. So, it's a pretty cool barn. Now for the grand finale, I will show you guys the castle as the sun sets over the distance. This might take over the barn. It probably did. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take a look. Yeah, it took over the barn. Oh no! <laughs> That's pretty cool. It, it just barely took it over. Okay, so you've got a nice little throne for yourself. You can put some people in here, trap them, you know, be like, haha, I get to watch you eat. You got a nice little dungeon down here. Okay, oh, these are blocks. You should probably put stairs there. Okay, I'll show you one of these towers because they're probably exactly the same on all sides. Whoa, I just fell down. Lag, 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 okay. I don't know why I fell. Oh, I'm scared, okay, all right. There you go. Get to the top of the tower. So, anyways, guys, that's pretty much all this mod has to offer. Really cool mod. Makes the game of Minecraft a lot easier. I really do hope you guys did enjoy. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a great day, guys.